Alright, we got the most SA classic, at least in this current era. Yo, I'm keeping the Daisy Peach icon. It just feels right. So do I just like buy all them or do I like start playing the lottery with them? Like so I did I get to beat two happy meals and see what I get. Or do I just buy the ones I care about? Fuck, there's such a knife. Like I'm I'm in a group chat with like other losers. And it's great. And like one of my friends just post a picture of like her findings. And it's like pretty groomy ones. I'm actually embarrassed I don't know which fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card grooming one is supposed to be. Like you think I would know, but I don't. And I feel like such a loser for that. Like, I must be the biggest idiot because Surely it's gonna be a card, I know. But also, it doesn't look like anything. It just like, looks like a generic red dragon. Like, not Black Eyes Red Dragon. Like, just generic fucking dragon. I don't know what card that is. Someone please help me. I'm losing my mind. Oh yeah, there's Miller. <laughs> oh my god, I have him. Every time I open my gotcha around, like in the time, it's like Lucifer needs your help. Stop Beetle Bob from eating everything in the fridge. And it's like past that time that I can get my little freebie. It just feels like the game is taunting me for choosing and having a hobby over the start. I mean, there's no event going on, so it really doesn't matter. Edge cards I'm, I'm trying to do, but then like I just don't do it quite right. So even if I do get it, I end up dying. But I'm like running through. Sorry, my game just had a loopsie for a second. But I'm like running through, like as Peach, you really do want to get comfortable, with, like just going down, holding float, like. With the hide the aim and just like pressing the A button or whatever equivalent is on your rectangles. Oh fuck, this is just Yeah. Ooh, I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> Yeah, that was fucked. 
Classic Stadium. You know, I was sick of Battlefield for like a good couple of moments. Now I think I'm just sick of Stadium now. Like that's my new, I hate the stage. I don't want to see it. Because I think for the past couple of moments, I just like, I'd go any stage for like Battlefield against like Falcon. Because I was fine with like Yoshi's and the Dream they weren't gonna get stadium because I'd never let them have it. Because they never let me have fog baskets. Second, and he chose lasers. Good for him. I think it's gotta be really nice. I mean, like, yeah, Falco, you could just choose to slow the game down. And I like how Kai actually does something. When, like, he extends the game. Instead of just, like, throwing out lasers and doing, like, a bad option. Or in the Netplay Falco is watching. Be like Kai. Don't do, like, 3 to 10 lasers and then a dare. Do lasers if you want, but, like, actually think about why you're doing that dare. Or dare. You know, I the free country. Yeah. It's nice to see Kaya this momentum. Like Takes this like a stock pretty so notably, and he can bring that into the next game. And I think that'd be really super. I think it's also important to remember, like, obviously, you don't want to play Plot A, but it's, a, it's so important to remember, like, you do have that other stock. Like, I think there's a balance between playing like you're on your last stop, but also remembering that it's not the end of the world because you do have your actual last stop. It's like, I think if this was last... Yeah, if that was like Kai's last stop, I think like, he'd be way more than good. I guess he probably is now. But like... It's just fishing. Hopefully throw it back in. But... You know what? That works as well. No the game is doomed, so like, I think it's terrible to like, go win with that mindset even if it's like, literally the worst stage you could be on in the matchup. I mean, still obviously, like, even if you lose, gain information, like, like say what McLeod is more feeling like doing today, or so, like, how confident she's feeling when she's going for like, just the more basic stuff, or like the really hard girls physical punch. I wouldn't really say it's good. It's please. Because it's 
stage has gone with me, man. I'm sure I said a lot about that. I always know when I was commentating. But, like, I guess we could still make it work. Yeah. I do think it's a really good feeling, though, when, like, you win on, like, say, FD, it's like, Spacey against Peach, Mark, whatever. And then, like, they take you back. And, like, you're still doing okay, or at least well enough. Like, that's a good feeling. Hopefully Kai gets to feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not as extreme since I play Peach and like my best counter is like stuff like Dreamland. What not thing on like matchup, but it's just good to feel no matter what. Character you play against. It does, it I've definitely like fucking hit it myself when like I go with FD and I just lose. Like I shouldn't. I think it also depends, like sometimes you lose because you're dropping stuff more so than just getting outplayed. No contest. Actually, that was big because Jimmy McLeod wins this and Kat gets to go to whatever stage, basically. Basically, just like side B, and you fail to cover it. But if you're like me, because you like trying to remember to like cover the angle, so you go for like a down air, and that's just not the right option for side B, and then you feel like a dumbass. Like, I just see that, and I'm just like, oh. like when it happens to me, like, yeah, I feel that. There's any time when you like, you're like supposed to do the right thing. It's just really hard covering everything. Or everything to the best you ability with this character anyway. really great that McLeod just sees like like say Falcon is instant like just pull in the child immediately just gets ready to like go out flow do the nail I mean that's like a bit different but like when when he was closer you can more reasonably expect to get in there Also, like trying to get more comfortable sometimes, just figuring out when like there's just nothing I can do to even put out edge guard, just like even men rough. Um, you hate to see that, honestly. <laughs> I, I I've definitely done that, and it's, it's a heartbreaker because SD was like Peach still so much more wasteful than with Spacey. <laughs> You expect it's gonna happen. Like every spacey, when you can't meet each one, you just you know it's gonna happen to you. Know, but it's like when it just do that shit is huge. It's like fuck. Why? <laughs> oh 
all big money. I was smiling, but it wasn't from the hot. It was, it was like the. <laughs> oh yeah, gaming. something else to remember so like I don't know how much I can read and say like like it's probably good but like it does seem to be a thing it's like mental overload and you're trying to cover like space recovery Guy's stealing up. Oh god. <laughs> we don't steal up too hard. <laughs> So that was actually good gameplay. <laughs> oh god. No, I just picking up the headset wrong you hit a pop. Yeah, I know. It's it's uh, instant feedback. Gamers. Gaming. I don't know. Gaming? I felt my brain like turn off halfway through it, so I punched my leg and it kinda worked. <laughs> You, you, Thanks, Josh. You were smiling like second to last game, but it wasn't like a real smile. It was oh, it was the I insanity hate my smile. Life smile. No, that was oh, uh, getting getting shined <laughs> into death of a tech chase, and I'm just like, <laughs> that was my kill. I'm not good. Good luck. job, Kai. Uh, I'm definitely thinking like you need to like hold on to that. Like you need to make your opponent just like keep hanging themselves. Like I think that's part of momentum as well. Yeah, it is for sure. I was like, I don't know, it was, I just felt myself get, um, not what's the word, the when you, like, comfortable. I, like, felt myself get comfortable, and I, like, hated that. It was I more than the, so I just, punt, I just, like, tried what I did to wake up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I like, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I think you do need to be comfortable. Like, it, it really depends on the matchup and person. See ya, it was lovely seeing oh, you. See ya. One day I'll get to play you in tournament, Ruben. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It was like, well, when I say comfortable, and I mean, I mean, like, I wasn't trying. Like, oh, yeah. I was like, I was like too comfortable where I'm just like, yeah, it's just happening. Game is happening. Where I'm just like, and I, so, so I, sometimes I feel that and I just like start to get angry and it doesn't work. But that game, it worked. I don't know. I think, um, I think it depends, right? Because I think like, I think it's way better to be like, 
couple nuts since and like really like on edge. Yeah, it depends. Especially That's what I mean. It's like sometimes yeah, no, you're right. Especially in that matchup, but you go on. I shouldn't Oh no, you're right. Um yeah, it's I play around with my mindset when I feel when I feel like placid like that, when mm -hmm. I'm like not really trying to push and I'm just like letting things happen. It's like sometimes I get angry, sometimes I like try to breathe and like calm and I I don't know. It's, it's things work for different situations. The human brain is confusing and I hate it. Mm. So I'm studying it, turns out. I think um one of the best mindsets to have is like still you're trying to win but also having fun with it. Like I remember when I was playing against Ruben, like I was still like like actively like yeah. finding stuff hilarious. Like Ruben as well, like it was just there were some giggles. Yeah, the, the <laughs> I was it's fun with it. I was kind of just like but sometimes I'm in that spot where I'm I'm having too much fun with it. Where I'm just like, yeah, I'm chill. I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm chill. And then I'm like, oh, I'm losing. I was like, wait a second. And I'm like, not really interacting. And I'm like, what? When I when I go, I I have like this little thing where I just recount what happened in my brain. And I'm just like, if I can't remember what my like opponent's been doing and like what what I'm trying to like do, like if I physically like can't remember what has been happening in the set, that means like. And I'm not like ultra locked in. Like I'm ultra locked in. I, but when I'm ultra locked in, I normally remember, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, if I don't, if I don't remember what has been happening recently and what I'm trying to do, that means like I'm not there. That means I'm not trying, and there's like I have to try and fix that. But it kind of worked in that set. Like I, I felt like I turned on a bit more. But I think Kai gave me some of the like. There, when I'm not working on punish, it's hard to explain. But like when I'm not working on punish. There's cop outs I go to, I go for like specific tech chases, specific spots where I'm just, oh, I just read, um, and I like try to get the most off it. And it felt, I think Kai gave me like a few of those, so it's hard to tell if it was like I was focusing more and it was better, or if I just got like a little bit more lucky. But who knows? I Game's hard. I mean, I do think sometimes you should like dumb it down, like go yeah. for the easier stuff. Like there's, there's no reason to go for the ultra hard punishes when like. When like you're a stock and half and above, and like I know that sounds controversial, but I think it's way better to just like go and get your bread and butter so that you're more likely to win. Yeah. Out, like dropping something and then like getting reversed off that. That's not really controversial. It's just like when I'm not grinding punish game because I'm like my focus right now is like neutral and interacting and just like looking more. It's I just don't have the same reactions. So I just kind of have to supplement it, or I just have to read a lot more when I'm not practicing punish game. So it's it's yeah, but there's there's still even when I'm not practicing it, there's still it, it's like this weird tightrope where I'm like not going for like the ultra hard stuff, but I'm also not like chimping out in the stuff that's too cheap. So it's like this weird middle ground where I'm like still trying to react, but I'm not trying to do anything like crazy with it. So mm. I don't know. It's a this game's a balancing tightrope, and I keep falling off. <laughs> I know. I, at least for me, I I feel like I play worse when I'm like actively tilted. Yeah. Than like when I'm having fun, because at least having fun, the worst is that I'm chill. Whereas tilted, I just like, I just just want to get it over and done, which really doesn't mesh with how I play the game. I just like my. It, it wasn't really tilted. I just like wanted to see me. Like when I get like that, it's not it's not at my opponent. It's not anything like that. It's like I just want to see myself put some heart on the screen. And I'm just like I'm not doing anything. I'm like I want to see myself do something. And like as soon as I see myself do something, I like relax after that. Yeah, I just think f too much frustration in general. No, like I agree. you need to have some, but like I think like there's like a hard line where it just starts to mm -hmm. spill over. I also was having fun in that set. Like it was still like even when I get angry at myself at this point, it's like. I am self-aware enough to where I am. I'm like having fun and angry, or I'm just like I know why I'm angry and uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm allow myself to be angry at myself for like what I've done, but I also still it doesn't it doesn't sort of take over where I'm still like appreciating the games. I'm still having a good time. I still like being at the tournament. And I still like competing. Where it's but I'm like it's it's I, I'm I, I'm getting to the point where I'm like self-aware enough where I can just get angry over like the specific things I'm getting angry about. And then I can still I can still feel like the good emotions and like still feel how happy they are like what's happening. Yeah, I just remember during our set I was like it, not tilted but definitely upset. Like I try to like just say for a turn up and it felt like it just wasn't like doing it. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I was just like really botching it or one. I was like, God damn it! I look like a fucking <laughs> loser. <laughs> like not even doing anything. Meanwhile, I'm like trying to throw this turn up like with the C stick or whatnot. 
I love that you're doing this interview while tapping your gotcha. It makes it gives it so much more vibes. <laughs> Zoomer. You only just noticed it now. <laughs> no, I've noticed. I just I, I only commented on it. A little bit different. Um. Yeah. I don't know. That was the tournament. Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. Oh. Okay. There you go. I'll put the anything. What needs to go away? TVs. Yeah. TVs. Alright, everybody, thanks for watching. It's your boy Kaiser. Um, yeah. Another tournament in the books. Uh, Cheese League May 2024, Danzo. Um, as always, you can find the VODs at SA Smash TV on YouTube. Link in chat. If you want to follow me, hit me up on Twitter. You know where to go. KB Kaiser. Follow me everywhere. Um, and follow Catch Warriors SA for all updates for South Australian Smash. Um, you can hit up all these socials if you want to follow me everywhere. Totally optional. Don't need to, but it's always nice. And um, I'm going to be signing off. I'll find someone to raid, and we will peace out. we got to pack up. It's 9 o'clock. Time to go. And we will we will raid. We'll raid Enigma events, because they are streaming Rivals 2 Beta Tournament. Let's do that. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, you can send me a tip at... Um, the Kofi link in chat as well. Um, you know, just a little thing that you can do to say that you enjoyed the stream and that you want to support future events like this. Enigma events is what it is. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Peace out.